So you're in the market for a 3D printer or you're trying to learn more about them. I'm here to tell you that this A1 Mini by Bamboo Labs might be the only printer you need. But before we do, check out this quick video that I made you. Hope you like it. I've been dying to get my hands on a 3D printer for a while now, but I've been pretty skeptical due to the price and also all the horror stories I've heard about 3D printers. Whether they're failing or even catching houses on fire, I was afraid to buy one and didn't even know if I would enjoy it. But after having this printer for three weeks, I'm telling you, the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini is the perfect entry printer. Before we get started, my name is Christian Herrera. Thank you so much for stopping by this channel. This channel talks about products, entry-level products that might be good for you. And if you can like, comment, subscribe, it'll help motivate me to make more videos like this. But enough about me, let's go right back into this printer. This A1 Mini is super small and sleek and fits pretty easily on any desk setup or just any small table. Um, it prints seven by seven by seven, so it's pretty, Pretty small prints, but pretty decent size. I've printed some things like computer speaker stands and uh, headphone stands and other knickknack toys for my kids. And it prints it with ease and super fun and super easy. This printer at the time of this video was $300, but I know Bamboo Labs all the time run deals. So you can find one for 250. I know at Father's Day it was $250, uh, but I think currently right now it's $300. They also have other products, high quality products such as like their higher end carbon fiber printers and stuff like that that I saw online. But again, if you're just now getting into it, this is the perfect start. One, you don't have to spend the big bucks and two, you get to see if this is even for you. Cause like for me, I'm a little impatient and I don't like those prints that require plates. And what is a plate? It's where it requires printing, taking it off, printing, taking it off, printing, taking it off the plate. And to me, that's a lot of hassle. I'd rather walk away or sleep it off during night and you wake up and then you have a product. So again, that's one thing that I wanted to highlight and let you know, 3D printing does come with that. This printer, however, or at least the Bamboo Labs community made it so easy to print. All you have to do is download an app and this is what it looks like. You go on there and you have tons of creators making all these products for you. You just scroll, scroll until you find something you like and you just ensure that it's compatible with your printer. Some printers are compatible or some prints are compatible with the A1 Mini. Some require the A1. Some require maybe some of the higher end versions or printers. However, just make sure it's it works and make sure that it works with your type of filament, which most, most things require PLA with this printer. Uh, you can buy the Bamboo Labs filament. However, Amazon has cheaper filament that works. And I find the Sunlu is a great brand that's actually cheaper. You can find rolls for like $13, $14 for a thousand grams. And I'm telling you, that's a lot of prints. You can print tons of things with that. I can, it, it lasts me two weeks and that's printing nonstop, always running the printer with knickknacks or toys for my kids. Um, so that's pretty neat. One thing I don't have that I wanna highlight is the AMS light. So this is a system that attaches to this printer that allows you to do multicolor prints. So if you notice a lot of those prints in my small short video, they're only single colors. So like black or silver, and that's because I don't have this system where I can make these cool multicolor print things. Yes, there's multicolor filament, but that's not the same as being able to make maybe like a, a cool vase with different colors or a Mario mushroom with multiple different colors. So there's something that you wanna highlight. When you're looking at this app, you're also gonna see down here below that the time, again, I don't like waiting that long. I like prints that are a little bit shorter. You're also gonna see that some things require assembly like screws or tools, and you can buy them sometimes straight from the creator or sometimes you have to go out and buy them yourself. So just keep in mind some of these prints 
uh, make sure you, you check that out. I've printed a couple things where I'm like, whoa, I don't even have any of these screws for this. And I never ended up putting it together and it was a waste of time. So keep in mind that that's something that happens. But if you're an entry level and just trying to get into this 3D printing, this is a phenomenal product for you. And I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, other than that, I think this is great. Only other hiccup that I'd run into, it's a little loud and can kind of smell a little bit because it's just heating up, burning plastic or filament. So just keep that in mind. And sometimes you'll, you'll run into issues where you can't print some of the things you want just due to the size of this printer. But for the most part, it prints a lot of the things that you're gonna see on that creator space. And it's super fun and super easy. But I hope that highlights a couple things for you. Again, if you want a deeper tutorial, there's tons out there. I can list a couple down in the description, but it's a great product. I'm telling you as a beginner, look how easy it is to scroll on this and print something. I wanna thank you for landing on this channel and thank you for all the support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as it helps the algorithm for this channel and it motivates me to make more videos like this. Well, I hope you like this video and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.